Welcome back to Dragon Army Books. My name is Dustin and this is a loud shirt. I think I've worn it before on this channel, I'm sure. Uh, don't let it distract you from what I'm trying to do today. Although, hey, this is cool. I'm continuing a series on my YouTube channel. It's a brand new one where when I'm reading and don't want to necessarily do a full review of something, I just want to stop and say, hey, this is cool. Then I am recording myself talking about a subject, a, a plot point, a, a character, uh, anything in any kind of book or really other sci-fi fantasy media. Uh, I've only done one prior to this. And so you can check out where I talk about a very cool magic system from the Cradle series that I'm still reading. There's like 12 books, so I'm, I'll be reading it for a while. Uh, this time, I am talking about something else that is cool. I just finished the graphic novel of The Handmaid's Tale. I did not plan to do this. I had read uh, Margaret Atwood's novel, The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, back when it was first produced, that's not true, it was first released, I think, in 1985, uh, and so I wasn't alive, but I, I did read it a, a couple of years ago, and it was great. Really love it, and I would encourage you to pick it up and read it, uh, but for this one, I actually read a, a graphic novel that I picked up at, the, at my local library. Every once in a while, when I get the hankering, I go to my local library. It kind of sucks. It, it doesn't have the widest selection. I was actually, the one thing that I wanted was to, to try to start a, a manga because I haven't really done any manga before. It wasn't able to find any that I was interested in or any that had been suggested to me. So anyways, that, that was, that's a gripe. Hey, that's not cool. But what is cool is that I stumbled across to this and I was like, it looks, it looks cool. I like graphic novels. I already know the story. Like I said, I read the book and I watched the first season of uh, The Handmaid's Tale, which I thought they did well with. I didn't watch any more because they were just creating something after that. It, it wasn't the, the story anymore because the first season did all of the original novel. So I picked this up thinking that it would be okay, right? It was excellent. It, the graphic novel was excellent. But why it was excellent was because the illustrations added to the bleak dystopian story that is already very very good the illustrations really took it to the next level i think in my rating of the original novel i gave it 4.5 stars which thinking back on it, i'm like what i'm an idiot like it's probably five stars for some reason i gave it 4.5 stars i'll have to see why you can maybe find on my goodreads why i did that because i don't think that i made a video review for that book uh, but I gave this graphic novel a full five stars because I think uh, Renee Nolt is the illustrator and adapter. She did both of them. And both her adaptation uh, it, and her illustrations are absolutely excellent. It is hard, difficult to adapt any story, especially a story such as this. But Renee Nolt adapted it in such a way that uh, that felt good. I didn't feel anything was missing from the story that was being told here in the graphic novel. But the reason that I'm here today talking to you about this graphic novel is because of the illustrations, the artwork. The way that she dealt with the art was so good. Typically, in graphic novels, a lot of the times, there are panels, correct, right? Like, we've got different boxes and artwork within each box along with the, the lines of dialogue. And she does that. But from time to time, she breaks the rules and goes outside of the panels or, or removes the panels entirely, allowing a little bit of the paint to spill over um, across the page. And if you're familiar with the book and the series, red is a common color and motif here throughout the story. And it is used in an exceptional way in this graphic novel that can't be done in a traditional novel. As the tension grows throughout the story, that is not only portrayed through the dialogue sequences, but through the use of color and the, and the, and the, like, it, not only do, not only is the story itself unsettling, not only are the lines of dialogue unsettling, not only what is happening is unsettling, but the way that she utilizes the colors and the illustrations adds to that unsettling feeling. I'm sharing with you a few of the panels from the graphic novel where you can see kind of just the um, distinct colors 
color schemes that she uses to portray, you know, different emotions, different feelings uh, from, you know, there's different placement. The, the women in this society have different roles and obligations. And uh, so, so she uses those colors to demonstrate that. But there's one there's one panel or one page in particular that really caught my attention. And it's where all of the color is removed from from at all of the panel, it's just like the pencil drawings, but then red blood like splashes, splotches across the page uh, in such a <laughs> serious, moving, disturbing moment. But it so much adds to the intensity here. You'll, you'll notice that the illustration art style like isn't maybe the best like if you're comparing it to other realism that's done in other graphic novels but it, it's got its own vibe it's going for its own thing and within that unique style that she's going for she, I, I i just think that she absolutely nails it this is actually the new handmaid's tell medium that i'm going to push on people when they're asking about it uh, not necessarily the show and not necessarily the original novel at least not first i'm going to allow this to be my recommendation for the bridge or the pathway into the story because it doesn't tell it all but it tells it enough and it portrays it in such a way that is very easily accessible i i think i read it in one or two sittings because it's a graphic novel you can get through it relatively quickly so if you haven't read handmaid's tell before i would suggest you pick up this graphic novel check it out because the illustration are wonderful uh, but even if you have and you want to revisit it at some point I would say revisit it here try try this graphic novel and see if it works for you because it certainly worked for me hey this is cool the illustrations of the graphic novel The Handmaid's Tale by Renee Nolte what other really stylized graphic novels are you a fan of let me know in the co in the comments down below you know that i like comics you know that i like graphic novels maybe someday i'll like manga as well what graphic novels have this unique vibe this unique style that you particularly enjoy again drop them down in the comments below and maybe i'll get around to reading them someday as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch and like this video if you haven't yet click subscribe join the dragon army and we'll see you in the next one Thank you.